hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the cross here and the blood screen effect for the zombie actually the blood effect so first of all let's go ahead and add a cross here for the cross here right here in the ui we will create a canvas you can actually change into 2d mode and double click on the canvas to focus on it and inside this canvas we will add a ui image and let's name this as crosshair okay it needs a crosshair sprite now so inside the sprites let's go inside the crosshair folder there is our crosshair just drag and drop the crosshair in there okay so now you will see on the screen the crosshair okay if you click on set native size it is now become small that is it and make sure the crosshair is in the middle center okay that is all for the cross here change back to scene view remove 2d and double click on player now there is our player now whenever we hit or you can say whenever we shoot zombie we need to show the uh, blood screen effect this on our shooting controller right here after this muzzle flash we will actually copy it paste it down below and change this name to blood effect okay and now write down below whenever we hit the zombie right here we will play the blood effect okay so for playing the blood effect on the zombie body wherever the player shoots for that first of all we will say particle system let's name this as blood this will be equals to instantiate we want to instantiate the blood effect on the hit point so we will say hit dot point and then we will use this quaternion dot look rotation and in here we will say hit dot normal okay so what this basically will do this quaternion dot look rotation for example if the zombie is in front of us like this okay and when we hit the zombie right here okay then from here we will show the blood effect in the outward direction okay so that is the reason we use quaternion dot look rotation and then we use the hit dot normal surface i mean the normal is the surface okay and after this when we show the um, blood after that we need to delete that as well so we will say blood dot game object and then blood dot main dot duration that is all for this simply save the script get back to unity now inside our rifle if you click on it now we need to provide the blood effect so in here in unity technologies we have blood effects right here this is the blood spray so now click on the rifle and drag and drop this in there that is all now if we play the game we will have a cross here and a blood effect for the zombie as well as you can see there is our cross here which moves where the player points as you can see the rifle moves as well because in our previous zombie game most of you guys told me that uh, the crosshair moves up and down left uh, up and down and the rifle doesn't move with it so now as you can see the rifle moves with the crosshair as well okay so now if you try to shoot the zombie as you can see it is showing the blood effect if you shoot it from here as you can see in the outward direction it shows the blood effect as you can see okay and the reason the blood effect is showing behind the zombies because the uh, capsule collider is uh, a little bit behind the zombie okay but we will fix that on but now as you can see it shows the blood effect okay and also
so it shows the blood effects on the player as well now as you can see when the zombie star uh, stops it shows the blood effect the reason it is not showing the blood effect right now is because the zombie dies okay and as you know that when the zombie dies we disable the capsule collider and everything else as well so now the blood screen effect shows we have a capsule collider as well and in the next video we will be adding animations as well